Matt and I met, we went to a friend's house. Um, his name is Colin, who's also in our wedding party. It was a house party. Colin had many of them. He always hosted them. Uh, I pretty much, uh, yeah, I was there a lot. I didn't even know about him. I just went because my friends invited me. I didn't know who was going to be there. All I knew was, you know what, let me see if I take a nap. Uh, maybe I'll have some energy to, you know, show up. And I, sure enough, I did. And he was there and we just started talking eventually, just about random stuff. First thing I said to her was probably something stupid. Uh, I don't know. We just got to know each other and I was upset at, about my boyfriend at the time. <laughs> my uh, first impression of Steph was that she was supermodel caliber. I looked at her and I said, wow, and kept it to myself like any shy guy would. Now your mess is mine. impressions were that he was like one of the sweetest, nicest, kindest, loving person I've ever met. Like I couldn't believe that I actually got to like meet someone like him because all the other guys I have met were always nice but like he was just a really sweet guy. Well I don't think I did ask her out. I believe she asked me out. I was the one that was like I really wanted to go to this Carrie Underwood concert. I got a little loose that night. One beer, two beer, three and Next thing you know, I'm telling everybody all about the music I like. And I was like, I love Carrie Underwood. I really want to go to her concert. Stacy, do you want to go with me? And she's like, I forget what the reason was, but she's like, no. She's like, why don't you ask Matt? She grabbed my phone and she put her number in it. Like the next day, I like texted him and I'm like, so do you really want to go to that Carrie Underwood concert? He's like, sure. And uh, she, uh, yeah, she got tickets. She put her uh, my number in her phone and we ended up, uh, that was actually our first date. The day went really well, we had so much fun. That was probably like one of the first concerts I'd been to where I actually like loved every part of it. And he, I remember him saying, he's like, look Steph, look up. And it was Carrie Underwood and he's like, she smiled at me. I'm like, she smiled in our direction. She did not smile at you until this day. He's always like, Carrie Underwood, I would marry her if I wasn't marrying you. Carrie Underwood waved at me that night. That was really nice. And uh, and that was it for her. I never saw her again. And uh, I thought, this Steph girl is a real catch. You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyhow, we're together. <laughs> I knew Matthew was the one, and I really had to think about this all day because it's like been a long time if you think about it. And it's like thinking back to when you really, really thought or knew that he was the one. One defining moment for me uh, was when our relationship was uh, going through a little bit of a rocky uh, point. He's just so well-rounded and, and he, does, he will do anything for me and I realized that time and time again every single day. When I saw the determination in Steph and the willingness to try and, and fix things. Um, to me, when we got through that, I thought that we could get through anything. That's when I knew. A lot of people don't aren't lucky enough to have this in their lives, but he, <clears throat> he cleans my house and does everything I say. Our house, I should say. I always say my, and he'll, he'll laugh at this part. <laughs> it's totally me. Um, but he cleans, he does laundry, he folds, he does as much stuff around the house that he can do. Most of the time I ask him, but he always does it. And sometimes he even surprises me, which is always really nice. And I really value that because it feels, makes me feel like I'm not the only person doing it. And when, like every, my dad will say, happy wife, happy life. The best man, the best man. So my maid of honor is my sister, uh, Christy, my one and only sister. <laughs> and um, I'm so happy that I picked her to be my maid of honor because I know that the most more important thing to me was that I wanted a maid of honor who would do everything that I wanted from their heart. Patrick Campbell is my best friend for so many reasons that there's no way you have enough film for me to tell you all about it. 
but um, he's just always been there for me. Uh, ever since I've known him, uh, he's been there for me. He'd do anything for me. He's, he's, he's just taught me a lot. I feel like in the last few years, we've grown a lot closer, which has really made me happy because she's my sister. Um, and I really wanted to have a really good relationship with her. And now we have the, the pleasure to kind of be in each other's lives and see each other go through some milestones and, and, and be there for each other. And uh, yeah, he's a special man. Pat, I'm never saying that again. Matt, what can I say? We've been on a really long journey together and I couldn't be more thankful for the last four and a half years together. I love where we've ended up. Um, I love our dog, I love our life, I love everything about us. And I'm so happy that I'm get, I've gotten to marry you today. I'm so excited for what life will bring us in the next few years, even the next 80 years that we'll be together. I know that I found my best friend in the entire world and that you will do anything for me and always be there for me and support me in anything I do because I see it every single day that I'm with you. And I just think it's crazy that I was able to find someone like you. Um, who truly is my best friend, who I can go to for any, 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 anything. You really are like the best person in the world. So I'm so happy that I got to marry you today and best friends forever. Love you. If there's anything that I could say to you, Steph, on uh, this day, it's that you complete me. Um, I'm sure a lot of people say that but um, I kind of get it now, you know? Uh, you're just my life. You're the, as we've mentioned before, you're the chocolate chip to my cookie. I mean, they just don't work without each other. Um, I can't wait. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Um, I can't wait to fail with you. I can't wait to succeed with you. I, uh, I'm just really looking forward to the ride. It's going to be amazing, as it already has been. And I also want you to know something else. I'm very happy that you um, are accepting of the fact that I am uh, pretty much the man, the, uh, the champion, uh, some would say. Um, why else would you have, you know, let me have this. You see, see this right here signifies a lot. It signifies that I'm the champion, the world heavyweight champion. Mati di. It's a little light, isn't it? But right there, it says Mati di. And uh, I'm glad that you know that. And I love you. Baby, down to the river. Taking away to the dark